Today's lesson is called the climate change debate, caused by nature or human beings. Hello, everyone. My name is Jeff. My name is Roger, and again today we're going to continue talking about the climate change debate. You may not believe that there is a debate about this. It seems that most scientists believe that global warming is real and that it is caused by human activity. But it turns out, no, this isn't the case. Yes, they all agree that climate change is real. They just don't agree on the cause. Is it caused by humans and their emissions from their cars and Factories, or is it just a natural phenomenon because the sun gets hotter and cooler sometimes, and this just happens every thousand year or twenty thousand years or so? By the way, there are natural fluctuations in the sun's heat, and the sun, by the way, is a gigantic burning ball of gas that's extremely hot. It would make sense that if the sun got hotter, that we'd get hotter too. So, some people. Do put forth this opinion, and it makes sense to a certain degree. But we did kind of talk about how it doesn't totally make sense because the lower atmosphere on Earth is getting hotter, but the upper atmosphere is getting colder. But you'd think if the sun were getting hotter, that everything would get hotter—the upper and the lower atmosphere too. So, can this make sense? Does this particular opinion hold water? I'm not so sure. And there was further data that said that in the 20th and the 21st century, that summer temperatures in Sweden were actually cooler than they were during the Roman Empire and during the Middle Ages as well. You'd think that those temperatures would go up. Why? Because during the 20th In the 21st century, that's where humans really started burning tons of fossil fuels and contributing to global warming, right? Well, it just doesn't make sense completely. So maybe today we'll finally get some closure on things and we'll figure out which side has the better arguments. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started on today's lesson and figure out which side's arguments in this debate hold the most water. The Earth's bodies of water also provide clues about global warming. On one side, it's been speculated that human-produced greenhouse gases cause ocean waters to warm and expand, leading to rising sea levels. But an overwhelming majority of experts think that sea levels have been rising for thousands of years, and that it's unrelated to human activity. Indeed, shifts in deep ocean currents are a primary cause of natural climate cycles. Including the melting of Arctic sea ice and the Greenland ice sheet. 大家好，第一部分我们看到单字 speculate 这个字是动词，指猜测、推测。例如 ，Many people are speculating what the upcoming movie will be. 许多人在猜测即将上映的电影是哪部。或是 ，Doctors speculated on the cause of the mystery illness. 医生推测这个神秘疾病的病因。接着，我们看到形容词 overwhelming， 指数量压倒性的、难以抵挡的、极大的。例如 ，an overwhelming majority of voters elected the new mayoral candidate into office. 选民以压倒性的票数选出新任的市长。或是 ，I received an overwhelming amount of emails regarding today's meeting. 我收到了非常多关于今日会议的电子邮件。Okay, so in the first part of our lesson, we're actually talking about bodies of water, the Earth's oceans, and of course, this is of great concern to the people of Taiwan because hey, most of the people here live close to the ocean. If、uh, levels rise in the ocean, we're in big trouble. Gaoshong, Taipei, Tainan, cities like that are all going to be flooded. What are we going to do? So here in the first paragraph for today's lesson. It says the Earth's bodies of water also provide clues about global warming. Yes, you always hear about this. Some of those South Pacific island nations are slowly sinking. We hear news about that all the time. So indeed, if we look at the oceans, the bodies of water in the world, they will tell us some things about 
climate change, about global warming. Sounds good to me. The Earth's bodies of water can tell us more. They'll give us more clues about global warming, and we need this right now. Right now, I don't know what to do with the facts that I've been given. I haven't been given enough to know which side in this argument makes the most sense. Anyways, on one side, it's been speculated that human-produced greenhouse gases cause ocean waters to warm and expand. Leading to rising sea levels. So there you go. People believe that humans have burned tons of greenhouse gases, and this has caused the ocean to warm, or the oceans to warm, I should say. And when those oceans warm, apparently they get bigger and they expand, and then sea levels the world over rise. Okay, so that's what one side believes, or this is what one side is speculating on. To speculate, right? To basically come up with a theory or idea as to why something is happening, because let's face it, it's really hard to get exact figures from global warming. How can you measure all the sun rays shining into the atmosphere, and how can you actually prove that the Earth's atmosphere is trapping all those gases in the atmosphere? Atmosphere. It's just really hard to measure all that stuff. So most scientists have to speculate. They have to take educated guesses about these things, and that's what they're doing about the oceans. They speculate that、uh, the greenhouse gases produced by people cause the waters of the oceans to warm up and then expand. Just like when you heat up air, it expands and rises. There you go. This is what they're speculating. Okay, they've kind of formed this theory. Do they know for sure? Maybe not. But I imagine they do have some facts behind what they're trying to say. But get this. But an overwhelming majority of experts think that sea levels have been rising for thousands of years, and that it's unrelated to human act. Activity. So here we have another contrary fact. I don't know what to think. One side says human-produced greenhouse gases are causing the rising sea levels, but then an overwhelming majority, i.e., the great, great majority of experts, think that sea levels go back and forth. They rise and then fall, and they've been doing this for thousands of years, and that this is unrelated to human. Activity. That's right. Even though a lot of people think that, hey, all the melting glaciers in Greenland and the North and South Poles are melting, and the water is going into the oceans, rising the levels. Still, lots of scientists think, nope, that has nothing to do with it. The oceans' sea levels have been rising all the time. It happens all the time. It's perfectly natural. Human beings are not the cause of that. Indeed, for sure, shifts in deep ocean currents are a primary cause of natural. Climate cycles, including the melting of Arctic sea ice and the Greenland ice sheets. So there you go. It's not really rising temperatures that are causing ice to melt in the Arctic regions, or it's not those rising temperatures that are causing the ice sheet in Greenland to melt. It has to do with ocean currents that are really deep in the ocean. If they shift, if they change, then that affects the amount of ice. In the oceans, how much things melt, and that's the primary cause of the change of sea levels. It's not heating in the atmosphere. There you go. And here we also have this word Arctic to talk about. We're talking about Arctic sea ice. Okay, if you go to the top of the globe, the top of the world, you have the Arctic region. That region around the North Pole. Now. Around the south, there you have a similarly named region. Okay, that area around the South Pole would be called Antarctica. Okay, so in the north you have the Arctic, in the south you have the Antarctic. Now, one more note: there's no land in the Arctic region, really. Maybe parts of Greenland and Russia and Canada, but there's not really one big mass. Whereas in the south, you do have an entire continent. Antarctica, right? The Arctic and the Antarctic. Antarctica, of course, is an actual continent down there. So again, these are some of the arguments about sea ice and ice sheets and things like that. And、uh, we'll continue talking about this in just a second. Let's move on to the second part of our lesson, and then we'll talk about it. But instead of looking at the scientific arguments, of which there are too many to list. Let's consider where the climate scientists stand. 
A 2012 survey conducted by Purdue University found that 37% of climatologists think global warming is caused equally by humans and the environment. 5% think it's caused mostly by the environment, and 5% say there isn't adequate evidence to draw a conclusion. In total, 47% of the climate scientists disagreed with the idea that humans are the main cause of global warming. 第二部分，我们看到单字 conduct 这个字是动词，指进行、实施。例如 ，The students conducted a survey of voting trends. 学生们对投票趋势进行调查。或是 ，The scientists conducted experiments to learn more about the strange material. 为了了解更多这种奇怪的原料，科学家进行了几项实验。接着，我们看到名词 climatologist， 指气候学家。举例来说 ，William is interested in climate change, so he wants to become a climatologist in the future. William 对气候变迁非常有兴趣，因此未来想要成为一名气候学家。再来，我们看到片语 draw a conclusion， 表示得出结论。例如 ，The doctor was unable to draw a conclusion about the disease from the blood tests. 医生无法从血液测验中推断跟疾病有关的结论。另外，补充一个相关片语。Jump or leap to conclusions 表示妄下结论，贸然断定。像是 We should try to find out what is really going on instead of jumping to conclusions. 我们应该努力找出事实，并非奏下结论。Okay, I'm still confused. Both sides here seem to have really good. Points, okay, so I don't know. Maybe we should let the experts weigh in. Okay, how do climate scientists feel on the whole? Okay, let's learn about that next. The next sentence says, "But instead of looking at the scientific arguments, of which there are too many to list, let's consider where the climate scientists stand." What a good idea! Their stand, their position. What they believe. Now, a 2012 survey or some research conducted by Purdue University found that 37 percent of climatologists think global warming is caused equally by humans and the environment. Five percent think it's caused mostly by the environment, and five percent say there isn't adequate evidence to draw a conclusion. So that's again the result of this survey conducted by Purdue University. Back in 2012, about eight years ago, not that long ago. So, of course, if you conduct a survey, that means you organize it, you make all the phone calls, you ask people in the street. In this particular case, they had to talk to all these different scientists and get their opinions about this. What do you think about climate change? What is causing it? And then they compiled all their results, and then they published the results. I'm confused. This is not good. I was hoping that climate scientists would say, "Hey, we've studied it. We're experts on this. We all believe that global warming and climate change is caused by humans." But apparently, this survey conducted by Purdue University found, well, the numbers just aren't all that compelling. Thirty-seven percent of climatologists, i.e., people who research and study the climate, they're experts on the climate. Thirty-seven percent of climatologists think global warming is caused equally by humans and the environment, and then five percent think it's caused by the environment. This global warming stuff, and then five percent say there isn't adequate evidence to draw a conclusion. By the way, adequate means enough, or if you have a, let's say you have a satisfactory amount of something, you can say you have an adequate amount of that thing. Further, if you draw a conclusion. You make that conclusion. You conclude that thing. Okay, that's the idea. Exactly. Okay. So most of us think there isn't adequate or sufficient evidence to draw a conclusion or come to a conclusion, 
I could say, "Gee, I want to buy a new car, but I don't have adequate funds. I don't have enough money to buy a new car. I guess I'm going to continue riding my scooter for the time being." So, moving on here, it says, in total, 47 percent of the climate scientists disagreed with the idea that humans are the main cause of global warming. So that's almost half. Almost half of all of these climate scientists think that, "Hey, global warming is real, but humans." Are not necessarily the main cause. Natural causes are part of this as well, if not the only cause. All right, everyone. With that, it's time for us to take a short break. But don't go away. When we come back, we'll be wrapping up our article on climate change. Based on such data, human activity can't be the primary cause of global warming. Therefore, instead of organizing climate demonstrations. Youths would do better to put their energy into making constructive contributions to society. Finally, the third part, we see the noun contribution, contribute, contribute, like the make contributions to. The noun means to make a contribution. We can say This university's graduates have made great contributions to society over the past century. 过去一百年来，这所大学的毕业生对社会有莫大的贡献。或是 Julie made no contributions to the project. Ted is the one who did all the work. Julie 对这项专案没有做出贡献。Ted 才是做所有工作的人。Okay, so this all might be kind of surprising to you, but based on such data, based on such information, human activity can't be the primary cause of global warming. Okay, so we can conclude that maybe human activity. Plays a role in global warming, but we have to agree that natural causes are there as well. We're going to have to face the facts there. Therefore, instead of organizing climate demonstrations, youths would do better to put their energy into making constructive contributions to society. So, therefore, as a result of these arguments. You probably shouldn't organize these climate demonstrations, which means you kind of show up, usually down by the presidential palace, and you tell the government that you don't like what they're doing, or you tell the government that they should start doing something else. We don't support the fourth nuclear power plant. We're going to demonstrate, or we're going to have a demonstration. No, don't build that power plant. We all don't want to die of nuclear radiation. Yes, youths would do better to put their energy into making constructive. Contributions to society. By the way, if something is constructive, it's not destructive. It'll actually help out. Very often, people say, "Don't be so mean." Okay, if you're going to criticize someone, make it constructive. Yeah, give them criticism, but kind of help them out with that criticism. Okay. Further, it says here that you should make. Constructive contributions to society. When you make a contribution, you contribute something. You give something over to someone else or something else to help them out. Yes, to contribute is kind of like assisting or giving, and a contribution is just an instance of you giving something to someone else to help them out. Yeah, you might make a contribution to a charity, for example. Or what you might want to do is start looking at land and house prices. In Nanto, because eventually the plains of Taiwan are going to be flooded, no matter what happens. Okay, that brings us to the end of our discussion for today. Here comes our Chinese teacher. Good morning, everyone. Hello, I'm Hanny. Let's look at today's grammar lesson. The second part of the first sentence reads, "But instead of looking at the scientific arguments." Of which there are too many to list. Let's consider where the climate scientists stand. 不过别看这些科学论证了，那可是多到列不完的。让我们来考虑气候科学家的观点。好，那么句子里面的 stand 在这边呢，是指持什么样的态度或是立场。Where someone stands 就是指说某人的立场或观点。像要表达自己的看法的时候，你就可以说 From where I stand， 怎么样怎么样怎么样。它的意思就会跟 From my perspective， 
is 差不多，就是表达说就我观点来看，就我的立场而言。好，那接着来看句子里面的关系子句。Of which there are too many to list. 这个关系代名词 which 是用来代指前面提到的 scientific arguments 科学论证。那如果先把它还原，不要用关系子句表达的话，这部分可以写作 there are too many of scientific arguments to list. 有多到列不完的科学论证。然后要形成关系子句，我们就把 scientific arguments 替换成 which。然后再把 of which 一起移到这个子句的句首，就会形成以 of which 来引导的关系子句了。然后这个关系子句就去补充说明前方的先行词 scientific argument。好，要特别注意，以关系子句去补充说明前方先行词的时候，它是非限定用法，因为我们不用去限定它的范围嘛。所以这边呢，它用逗号把关系子句隔开来表示说这一句是用来做补充说明用的。好，那我们来造个例句。There are numerous night markets in the city, of which the most well-known is Shilin Night Market. 城市里面有很多夜市，其中最有名的是士林夜市。好，课文接着提到，在二零一二年的普渡大学所进行一项调查中，有百分之五的人表示没有足够的证据来得出结论。那这边用到一个单字 adequate， 我们来学它的字首字根。好 ，e q u 或是 i q u 这一类字根，它表示 equal， 就是相同的、相等的意思。那在用在复合字里面，常常会拼成 e q u i。好，那我们来看，在 adequate 这个字当中，字首 a d 表示朝向，那么字根 e q u 表示均衡的 ，a t e 则是形容词字尾，朝向均衡，那就表示各方都是足够的、适量的，所以应该可以联想到 adequate， 它可以来表达足够的、合乎需要的。好，顺便补充有这一类字根的单字，第一个是 equivalent， e q u i。V A L E N T， 好，它的字根 E Q U I 表示平均的，那么 V A L 表示强力的或者是价值 ，E N T 是形容词字尾，那么合在一起 ，equivalent 就是用来形容相同的、等值的、有相同意义的。那如果把它当名词来用，只是用来指相等物、等价物或是同义字。好，再补充一个单字是。Iniquity, I N I Q U I T Y. 好，它的字首 I N 表示无，那么字根 I Q U 表示同等的。I T Y 是名词字尾，把字首字根合在一起呢，这个字面上的意思是不同等的。那么 iniquity 就表示不公正、邪恶。好，以上是今天重点整理，我们回顾今天单字吧。Overwhelming. The product's ad campaign was an overwhelming success. Conduct. The company I work for is currently conducting interviews for website designers. Adequate. I don't have adequate information to make a decision. Demonstration. Organizers must get official permission before holding demonstrations. Constructive. The presenters welcomed constructive criticism from the audience. Contribution. The scientists received an award for their contributions to our understanding of physics. Discussion starter starts now. Okay, here's our discussion starter for today. The question is, what would you say to the author of this article to change her mind? I would point out that there have been other surveys done as far as climate scientists are concerned. Okay, in the article, this person cites a 2012 survey conducted by Purdue University. I would tell this person to possibly look up other surveys that might come up with numbers that are more compelling. Well, I would tell the writer to indeed do more research. It seems like there are lots of opinions on this particular topic, and she probably shouldn't come to any rash conclusions so quickly. Okay, everyone. With that, today's article is now complete. But as always, we sure hope that you guys have enjoyed reading along with us. Anyways, I'm Jeff. I am Roger. See you, See you next, next time. time.